Four Oaks is a, it's a small downtown. It's still sort of like a Mayberry. And when Austin's general store closed a few years ago, it left a void in the downtown. Then David Stanfield bought the buildings. Well, I've always liked the hardware stores and old general stores. If I went to a small town, I always uh, wanted to stop in at a general store, the old hardware stores. I always liked them. And there's, I bought the buildings uh, not really knowing I was going to do a general store. It was a grocery store when it first opened, OK Groceries. Uh, but then Austin's general store bought it in 64 or 65 and expanded his business into it. But uh, on the top shelves in here, I got a lot of old uh, antiques and stuff that I've collected over the uh, last 40 years or so. That, uh, you know, people come in and they say, I remember when, you know, it just takes people back in time. I think I probably had uh, one of those little racers right there. I used to come in as a kid in here and uh, get a drink in a moon pie for 15 cents. And, and uh, I'd always be around a bunch of men around the pot belly stove if it's in the winter time and, and uh, swapping lies and uh, gossip, local gossip, I guess. But it's just, it, he has brought the flavor back to the old store that I grew up in. You'll still find plenty of general store goods like tools, knives, fishing lures, household goods, and of course, old timey candies. The old squirrel nut zippers and old peanut butter bars and uh, Mary Jane's, the old, the old candies that we used to have when we were kids. But at Stanfield's, the emphasis is on local products. Well, I got North Carolina food products, jellies, jams, pickles, peanuts. The old drinks, uh, the knee highs, the RC Cola, Moon Pie, uh, Orange Crush, and uh, all, they're bottled in West Jefferson. They're made with real sugar. It's the old recipe on the knee high. Dash County cheese, they have real good cheese. So I carry some of their cheese products. Divine Foods out of Elizabethtown does my jams and jellies and puts my label on it. In addition, Stanfield's features works by a number of local artists. Pottery, jewelry, bandsaw boxes, uh, lady that does reeves and bows and place for the uh, local artists to be able to show and sell their product. I build bandsaw boxes and uh, I never knew what they were until after I retired and started reading about them and it uh, kind of intrigued me so I uh, ordered me some books and taught myself how to do it and it's addictive, it's very addictive. Take the time to stop and play some checkers on this coin operated game board patented in 1952 by Lumberton native John P. Lewis Sr. Never seen one before. Didn't work. Got it working. Uh, it's a dime. You put a dime in, the board folds up, gives you 30 minutes to play, and it goes back down. And what throwback general store would be complete without a vintage drink box? Got it. It wasn't working, so uh, we got it going. And people, people, you know, come in and say, I haven't seen a drink box like this in years, you know, and they like getting a drink out of there. Everybody that comes in seems to enjoy the store, and, and I'm glad I did it. I want people to just come in and feel like they can uh, relax when they come in and just, uh, you know, go back in time.